Hi everyone, it's Mr. Cohen here, and I'm going to show you how to put together your very own virtual duet or trio video using iMovie and the overlay functions. So the first thing to think about is making sure that you have video files that all have the same and consistent tempo. So if you haven't recorded to a click track or a metronome, you're not ready to move on to the next step and create your project. If you have done that and you feel really good about the videos that you've recorded, you can jump into iMovie. This should bring you to your projects folder. And to start a new video, you're going to click the plus sign at the top left corner. From there, select movie and hit the button that says select at the top right corner and then highlight the videos that you will be using in your project. From there, hit Create Movie. You'll notice that all of the videos that you selected are now in the timeline at the bottom. You should highlight each and delete them. That way, we will have a clean slate. From here, hit the plus sign at the top right corner and select Moments. And highlight the video that you would like to start with in your project. In most cases, this should be the main melodic voice of your duet or trio, or the top line. You may need to listen to each example just to know that you are selecting the correct one. Okay, that doesn't sound like the main melody to me, so I'm going to try another one. I'm hitting the triangle to hit play. Okay, that sounds like my main melody, so I'm going to hit the plus sign to add it to the project. And I will scroll all the way back to the beginning. And then from there, I tend to like to zoom out, and to do that you have to take two fingers and pinch them together, and that makes the region smaller and a little bit easier to manage when we're working in this mode. From here, we will now add the next voice in our duet or trio. Once you've highlighted the video that you'd like to add into the project, click the three dots to open up overlay options. From here, you should select split screen. It will automatically drop the region into the project, but over top the original video. You will now notice that if you hit play, both videos will be going simultaneously. <clears throat> You may notice that the audio of both of the videos you have now overlaid are not in sync. To fix this, we should highlight the upper region and first select volume and then increase it to somewhere close to 100%. So now you can hear the discrepancy. I'm going to hit play again. Okay, so it's pretty clear that the video on the right is starting earlier than the one on the left. So let's try to fix this. We're going to highlight the region at the top and then select Actions, which has the scissor icon, and then Detach Audio. From here, we're going to zoom in and use two fingers and spread them apart to create a closer look. And you can actually see what we call the waveform, which is really just a fancy word for the, the shape of the audio. And if we click the region and highlight it and hold down, we can actually drag it to a new, new location. So I moved it a little bit to the right, and I'm going to zoom in again. And you can actually see that now our waveforms are, are pretty close to lined up. And you can actually use the playhead to double check I'm going to make one more adjustment, move it a little bit to the left, and see how it looks. All right, so right now I think that's pretty close. I'm going to hit play to double check. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm hearing really great harmony and the duet is starting to take shape. The problem is the video is still not in the correct location. From here, I'm going to scroll all the way back to the beginning of our regions, highlight the video, and now try to line it up with its corresponding audio. So I'll click the region, hold down, and then drag it to the right. This may take a few attempts to make sure it's completely aligned. And remember that you can use the playhead to see if they're lined up. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to hit play again. Great. So now we have both videos and their corresponding audios lined up and in sync. Once you've done this, you may find that there's some extraneous material in the beginning of your project. If you'd like to get rid of that, bring your playhead to a location where you'd like the project to start, highlight the top region, and then select Split under the Actions tab. You can repeat the process for the other regions and then re-highlight the top region and then hit delete. And then repeat that for the main timeline. And now you will see that all of the regions start at the same time. If you'd like, you can repeat the process at the end of your project as well. This would be a good time to apply any filters, titles, or effects for your duet. To do that, highlight a region and then check out some of the various options available. If your project is only a duet and has just two voices, you're essentially done. You can actually hit the done button at the top left corner and then the share at the bottom center. From here, you can export the project or save it to your camera roll in whatever ways that you would like. If your project is a trio, you still have one more voice to add. Go back into iMovie, start a new project, hit the plus sign, and create your movie. From here, when you select your video, start with the voice part that you have not added yet. Highlight it and then hit the plus sign. When it drops into the bottom, scroll to the beginning and then find the video that we just created using split screen. When we highlight it, hit the three dots and then use picture in picture. And now you'll have all three videos in the same frame. The trick here is once again aligning the audio so everything is happening in sync. Remember the directions in the very beginning of the project that if you recorded to a click track or a metronome this should be possible as long as you followed the tempo. Otherwise you follow all the same principles and strategies that we discussed earlier in the video and you should be able to export a finalized TRIO project. I hope you were able to learn uh, how to put together your own virtual duets and TRIOs using this tutorial, and uh, you were able to express some creativity and enjoy yourself while playing your instruments or singing.